morning, everybody. Uh, it's Dr. Rick Wallace uh, dropping in this morning, uh, Tuesday morning, uh, hoping to provide you with uh, a certain level of inspiration, instruction, um, and hopefully a certain level of empowerment. Uh, one thing I can tell you, uh, academically and experientially, that in life you are going to consistently meet opposition, adversity, difficulty, uh, darkness. Uh, I wish I can tell you that there's this secret formula, formula that you can use to circumvent the vicissitudes of life. But what I can tell you is that no matter how hard you try, pain will find you, darkness will find you, difficulty will find you, opposition will find you. That is for certain. I remember the, to me, the greatest lesson my great grandfather, who was also my adopted father, so he's my dad. Uh, the one thing he taught me, he taught me so much from the wisdom uh, that he possessed. Um, but one thing that he told me, and he, he set me down and he, 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 he told me, he said, son, if you can get this, if you can get this lesson, I, I, I share with you everything I have, but if you can get this, I guarantee if you can get it and you can effectively apply it to your life, you, you, greatness will overtake you. you. You will be a great man. Uh, and he said, there are three places in this life that you're going to find yourself consistently. He said, you're either going to be going into a storm, in a storm, or coming out of a storm. And there's no way to get around that, he says. And your first inkling is going to be to try to find someone to point the finger at, to blame for your current situation. He said, don't waste your time because 90% of the time it's you. He says, what you should focus on more is your number one responsibility as a man. He said, your number one responsibility as a man is that when you find yourself in the storm, make sure that you come out of the storm a better man than when you went in. He says, you have to allow the storm to shape you, to build you, to strengthen you, to develop you. It's not there to destroy you. It's there to make you better. He says, if you can find a way to come out of every storm that you find yourself in, a better man than when you went in, you will be a great man, son. He says, and I believe that for you. And so what I want to share with you this morning is this thing. There's a, something on the inside of you that is an inherent, uh, an innate part of your design. It's a part of your spiritual DNA. It's that thing inside of you that uh, when accessed and activated will allow you to move beyond any moment of difficulty, any moment of delay, any hardships, heartbreaks, and, 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 and the like. And that's being able to access that thing that makes you unstoppable. And it's there. The thing is that we have told ourselves all kinds of stories about why we can't go on, why we can't push through, why we can't be successful in a certain area, why we can't pursue our visions and dreams, why we are stuck in a particular situation when the truth of the matter is we have locked ourselves in by our own beliefs. And what life is doing is simply operating around those beliefs. If you want to access the unstoppable in your life, you have got to change the stories that you tell yourself. You've got to be willing to look at your design. You've got to be willing to, um, in a high level of uh, observation, critiquing and analyzing uh, your relationship with the creator. You've got to ask yourself some real serious questions. If the creator, if I am a person who believes in a supreme being that designed me, created me, and laid a path out from my life, then am I really truly 
understanding my relationship with my creator and what that means as far as my design and my purpose is concerned. What I'm, what I'm getting at here is when you look at yourself and you start to say, okay, I am a product of creation. I am a product of design. I am a product of purpose. In other words, design is indicative and automatically, uh, representative uh, purpose. Anything that is designed is designed for a purpose. So if you're designed and you are created, there's purpose. And see, when you identify your purpose, you access passion. And when you access passion, passion is that thing that is much stronger, much powerful, and more forceful than any emotion that you could possibly muster up to help you get through. We've trained ourselves to engage life and the, uh, the, the struggles, the vicissitudes, the disappointments, the hardships, the animosity that comes towards us. We've trained ourselves to respond to life emotionally, but emotion is not a responsive mechanism. Emotion is an, in, emotion is an indicative mechanism. What I mean by that is emotion is designed to make us aware of a particular current reality. So when I'm angry, it probably means that in some way that I am interpreting that something that has happened to me is wrongful in, in, in its existence. If I'm happy, I've, I've determined that something that is happening now is bringing satisfaction. It's something that I want. If I'm sad, there is an, an, an indicator somewhere that there has been lost experience. It, it's an indicative mechanism inside of us to give us a sense of reality. It was never meant to be a responsive mechanism that would guide our response to the reality. That comes from an understanding of purpose. The more you understand about yourself, the less knee-jerk reactions you will experience in your life to hardship and disappointment and the things that people say about you. The more you start to understand about who you are in your design, the more uh, you will be able to engage the vicissitudes of life with a sense of understanding and confidence that you are built for the battle, that you are built for the moment, that you are built to push through, that you are made to make it. And so you, you're not shaken by delay. You're not shaken by hardship. You're not shaken by disappointment. It, all of those things you see within the constructs of your purpose. In other words, you say, okay, I was designed with a purpose. I was designed by an omnipotent being who was omniscient and that understood all that I would come in contact with. And in my design is those mechanisms, those abilities, those gifts that will allow me to make it through every situation that I encounter. When you begin to understand that the very nature of your design and purpose pushes you towards a destiny and destiny by its very nature and definition means that you're unstoppable, then you are not shaken by any situation that you encounter. What am I saying? What am I saying? Look, look, look I, I, I want to go ahead and make this brief. I want you to really think about this. A lot of what you are encountering that's shaking you right now is because you're not really truly applying what you know about yourself. You are responding by past experiences. You're responding by the opinions of others. You're responding by the expectations of others for your life. You have all of these stories you've been telling yourself, I can't do this because uh, this is not gonna happen because if it's if anything bad can happen, it will. Uh, I can't win for losing. These stories you've been telling yourself, you have uh, fed your subconscious uh, an idea of limitations, an idea of being stuck, an idea of not having control. And that's what you're operating on. When you begin to tell yourself stories that are truly aligned with the idea of being created by a supreme being who had a purpose for your life, you begin to tell yourself, because of my design, because of my purpose, because of who I am and why I'm here, 
I can't be stopped. I'm unstoppable. I have a purpose and that purpose fuels a passion that drives me towards a destiny by its very own definition demands that it comes true. In other words, destiny says that anything that stands in front of it, anything that pushes against it only ensures that it happens. The idea of having a destiny should be immensely soothing and, and, and soothing for you because it sets you in a place of mind and a state of mind that you're unstoppable. You, 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 you are allowing the limitations that have been placed on you by others, no matter who they are. I mean, we've all had them, no matter who, even in love, our parents have placed limitations on us that we don't have to wear, we don't have to adhere to, that we can override and, and ignore because we understand at a level they may have transcended their, transcended their understanding of, of, of grand design or divine design. And we understand that this purpose that we have associated with our design is so powerful and so, 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 so much grander than who we are in, in, in and of ourselves, that our purpose is bigger than we are. And so our purpose is bigger than any moment that we encounter. And because it is bigger than any moment we encounter, we don't have to sit there and be afraid or pull back or draw back. I say it all the time and I continue to say it, no surrender, no retreat. There's nothing that I will encounter in my life that will cause me to draw back from the direction that has been set for my life for the purpose for which I exist. I will not quit. I will not turn around. I will not let go. I will not give up. I will not allow the moment to be bigger than my purpose. There's a purpose for your life. There's a purpose for your life. There's a reason you're here. You're here. You have something to give the world. You have something in you that has the capacity and the potential to make the world around you a better place. You not only have the right, but you also have a responsibility to this gift, to this genius, to this design, to actualize your potential, to walk in your purpose, to live in your destiny. And it is absolutely a requirement of satisfaction for the almighty. You were created for a reason. And if you're still breathing, your purpose is still intact. No matter what you've done in the past, no matter how many failures you've experienced, no matter how dark of moments you've been through, no matter how much it's been compromised, your purpose is still intact. And lastly, your purpose is non-negotiable. You can't trade it in for something less trying. You can't trade it in for something a little bit more easier. You can't trade it in for something that you might be able to understand better right now. Your purpose and your design, your potential is non-negotiable. And you have to set the standards of your life, the standards of your expectations, the standards of what you're going to de demand of yourself and those in your periphery based on your purpose. When you negotiate your, your gifts, when you negotiate your, your, your purpose, when you negotiate and compromise why you're here, you diminish yourself. You insult the Almighty. You insult you insult God, uh, and I and I I share this this quote all the time uh, from Stephen Furtick that if the vision that you have for your life isn't so huge that it intimidates you, it's probably insulting God, and 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 and, and I I take that. I mean, you, you we have start to be we have start to really operate in a world where mediocrity is the norm, and to operate in tamed visions is common. It's time to stop functioning in tamed visions. It's time to stop functioning in, 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 in mediocrity. It's time to stop functioning in the realm of average. It's time to activate the greatness inside of you. It's time to start pushing for 
uh, exceptional, extraordinary, and phenomenal. It's time out for just walking around and meandering through the maze of mediocrity when there's so much greatness on the inside of you and the world is in need of what you have to offer. I dare you to start living at the level of your design. I dare you to start living at the level of your design. That's it for this morning, man. I, uh, I love you guys. Uh, it's an it, it's a pleasure. It's an honor to be in a position to share with you. Uh, I really, really hope that what I share inspires you, uplifts you, and empowers you to take control of your life and make every second that you are on this planet count. I'm going to die on me. I made that choice some time ago that I was going to leave this place on empty. And there is no negotiating with that. It's non-negotiable. I'm going to push. I'm going to fight. I'm going to make mistakes. But I, I, I would rather make mistakes pushing towards a, a, a purpose than to sit back and analyze everything and do absolutely nothing to change the world around me. I, 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 I can live with the mistakes if the motive is right. I, I can do that. I can make the adjustments in the mistakes so that I can perform better next time. I can live with that. I'm challenging each one of you to rise up in your purpose and live life at the level of your design. Dismiss the opportunity to live in the realm and operate in the realm of mediocrity. Mediocrity is not in your design. It was never the intent of the, of the Almighty for you to operate and be mediocre. I wish you the best. I hope you have a great day. I'll be dropping in and sharing with you later on in the day on some things that I think are, are prevalent. But as of right now, I just wanted to share that with you. Have an awesome day. Peace. I'm out.